Hey y'all, so we are gonna talk about how to input a listing and make it active. Oh my gosh, all this hard work has finally come into a head and now we're gonna actually make this thing active. Let's do it. So if you're on your MLS, you are going to go to your menu and we're going to add a listing. Now, for the sake of this, we're gonna use an address that I know and um, we're gonna practice here. So, property type. Uh, for this in most situations that we'll be dealing with, there's going to be residential. Co-listing member, I don't have any of them. County, uh, you pick the county that you're working in. This one's address will be there. Now, you don't have to input all this stuff, so don't overthink it. Street number and then street name. So don't do what I always do and put it all in the same line like we're used to, right? Entry and then Westerville. You don't have to put everything in. You're put, looking to get just enough information so that when they load the tax record, they can pull it. So we click load the tax record. Notice I didn't put a lot of this stuff in here. Let's see what it automatically populates. Boom, it comes up with everything that I needed. Cool? So now we're gonna go next. Next down here. Now, if you had to, for some reason, the, the microwave went off and you had to go to your lunch, you can come up here and click save and complete. Whatever you do, don't add listing until you get all the other stuff in there. There are some goofballs out there of the 8,000 realtors we have in Columbus that have done that, and they put some uh, funky things in there, so let's not do that. So we're gonna click Next here. It'll ask me, please hold. My computer's going a little slow because it can't operate multiple things at the same time here. So what location do I want my pin located at? Now this is important because this is gonna sync up with um, your, your map on the MLS. So this is the appropriate location. So we're gonna use this location, boom. All right, now it'll say duplicate address warning. Do you wanna continue adding this anyways? Yes, we don't wanna go off these previous MLS numbers. We're gonna create a new one. So we're gonna say continue adding listing anyway, boom. Now, this is where we use all the information that we gathered from the MLS worksheet that we put into dot loop. Hopefully you've already watched that video and are pretty well versed at how that works. If you printed that off or had it on a separate file here, you can just uh, refer back to that. Uh, subtype is going to be in this situation, a single family freestanding. List price, let's just, uh, just for example, boom. Is it a medium high rise? No. Now I don't have to fill this out because it's not highlighted in pink. Anything that's highlighted in pink or anything that you see in bright red, those items need to be filled out. If they're not filled out and you go try to add the listing, it will not let you activate your listing until those items are filled out. So please pay attention to the pink highlighted items. Cool? Cool. School district. Cool. That auto populates. New construction. Nope. Uh, these things auto populate. Subdivision. Um, I always like to put the subdivision in here. Some people don't. I like to put that in there in case somebody out there in the world is only eyeing this one subdivision. It will help you get search results. Additional contact information is for showings. Showing phone number 614-255-5588. That's showing times phone number here in Columbus. Buyer broker. Are we going to pay the buyer broker? Yes, we always pay the buyer, right? Buy a buyer agent. And then we're gonna go three. This is just for this situation, percent. Don't do $3, that's goofy, right? Sub agency, no, we don't pay sub agents. Variable rate, VRC, variable rate commission. We don't do that here in central Ohio typically. I guess you could always try and start, but uh, good luck with that. Tenant occupied. So typically the homeowners may be still living there or maybe they're already moved out. Whatever it is, depends. Possession, again, you don't have to fill this out. Uh, I typically write negotiable. List date, this is gonna be the date you list it. Expire date, that's gonna be the date that uh, according to the ex, uh, exclusive right to sell, you've got agreed upon to uh, list this home through. Hopefully you don't need the entire duration. I've had some that have had to be extended. Showing start date, This read the rules here. Okay, this isn't rocket science. Read the rules, figure it out, enter that date in. Listing agreement type, exclusive agency or right to sell. Mine's always exclusive right to sell. 
Direct negotiation with the seller permitted? Heck no. You're not talking to my seller. That's my job. So no. Then you go into style. What, what kind of property is this? Boom. Is it built prior to 78? Boom, boom, boom. Year built, etc. Now, you might ask, what does ATFLS stand for? Approximate Total Finish Living Space. So the auditor will pop up how much above grade square footage there is. This may be in addition to that. So you could have an additional 500 square feet finished in the basement. Well, the auditor might not reflect that. So you're going to add that 500 in here. And then the source, you're going to probably put realtor, owner, realist, could be that as well. How many acres you got? Is it manufactured housing? Read, the, read this if you have questions. Is there an HOA? What's the fee if so? Is there a community development charge? That's like if the community is going to be developing all the roads and they are collecting $1,000 from each person. Very rare, but it happens. Taxes. Tax year. Is a tax abatement available? That's pink. You got to answer it. Uh, odds are it's probably no. Property description. Don't, don't overthink it. Don't write a book. Yet don't write one sentence. You got to think through this. Highlight the positive aspects of every single home that you list. Maybe the top two or three things. Make it a warm, welcoming, inviting uh, note to any buyer that's out there. Because this is going to populate onto Zillow and Realtor.com and anywhere else that people might be looking for homes. Agent to agent remarks might be things like, hey, there's a road closure. Be aware of that. Give yourself an extra five minutes. Or, hey, the title company is going to be this. Directions. Uh, you know your directions. Once you're done with this page, you're going to go to next. Again, if you need to exit for any reason, save incomplete. Do not add listing, save incomplete. Cool? Cool. Next. Now, this is highlighted in red, therefore it has to be filled out. These are highlighted in pink, so they have to be filled out. Typically, additional acceptance conditions, none known. Don't ever think it, none known. Now, these all have to be filled out. I've done this mistake many times. I left them all empty. Maybe there's uh, four bedrooms up. There's none elsewhere. Well, you can't just leave those blank. You have to literally go zero, 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 zero. Now they automatically check mark when they're done and you know you're good. Continue to fill that out. Then you'll go buy other rooms in the, in the home. Again, this comes directly from your MLS worksheet that you did on Dotloop. Parking type. This is highlighted in red. Therefore, it has to be... You guessed it filled out. This is a three car garage. It's got an opener. It's attached. You're going to fill out multiple things on some of these uh, boxes. Is there a basement? Yes. When you, when you uh, click that, then other things might open up. It's a poured basement. Cool. Exterior, self-explanatory. Rooms. Click these things because certain people are only interested in first floor owner suites. Um, you want that you want this home to populate on the, as many searches as possible to get your guys sold as quick as possible fireplace again you're gonna click multiple things here perhaps maybe there's one fireplace and it's gas log or maybe there's one gas log and one wood burning so there'd be two total and then boom boom heating typically it's forced air gas but you might have electric you might have all these other things as well figure these questions out on your own don't call me Call the, call the owner of the home if you don't know, because I don't know what exterior amenities your, your seller's house has, okay? Do yourself a favor and figure these things out. Accessible features, um, in most situations, these are gonna be no, um, but there's more information here. Uh, typically, the way I take that is, uh, is there ADA accommodation, so wider doorways or maybe a uh, 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 wheelchair ramp. New financing, you don't need to fill this out. It's not uh, pink or red. Is Are you going to be doing online bidding? Probably not. That's why you're listing it. Lease items would be things like propane cylinders outside. Uh, if it's propane heat, maybe security system. Warranty, are you supplying a home warranty? Are there alternate uses? Again, you don't have to fill these things out if you don't want to. Um, I like to be as thorough as possible. Primary source. Now, this is highlighted in red. Therefore, am I going to print this without a photo? No, I'm going to realtor provide the photo. Boom. Printing services, the MLS trying to make some money. More power to them. You don't need to do this. And then I'm in the way here, but I think this is green resources. 
and that is going to likely be no green features. So things like maybe there's solar panels. Uh, there's a checklist included here. When we're done with this, we're going to go to next. We're almost done. Notice this box is checkmarked. I want my listing to show up everywhere. So I click, I leave this clicked on. So it's going to auto automatically distribute to realtor.com and Zillow. Now it might take a couple hours. Sometimes it even takes a couple days. So uh, you might want to warn your seller that, hey, it, it's active in the MLS. So people who have a search with a realtor, they'll be getting those listings in the email uh, either the next morning or maybe immediately. Uh, but if they're looking on Zillow or realtor.com, they might not get them until tomorrow. Cool. I don't click anything else here. When I'm done with everything, I still go to save and complete. Okay. Save and complete. And what it's going to do is give me a little list here. Cool. Now, let's say I have to go away and go do a showing. I come back to this and maybe I've had to turn the power off to my computer. Well, I can go to menu and go to my incomplete. Don't go to add listing because it won't be there. That's not where it saves. It goes to my incomplete. So you go boom. And there it goes. Auto populates. Let's go edit. Now I've updated all the cool information, but I want to add my photos before I list this. So I'm going to go into photos and then I'm going to upload all the photos. It's very simple. Then I'm going to go, I want to make sure that my listing is hundred percent ready. So I'm going to go into documents and upload my RPD. I don't have a lead based paint because it's not that old of a home. So I'm going to do the residential property disclosure. I'm going to add it here. Super simple. Don't overthink it. You'll get it. Okay. Once you've done those things, then you're going to go to add listing. Verify that your listing is 100% accurate before you do that. But once you add listing, you are active, you are up and running, and you're going to sell that home quickly if you've priced it right. Holler at me if you have any questions. Like and subscribe so that you have access to all the latest, greatest videos that we give you for training. Hope you have a wonderful day. Be the best realtor you can be. Bye.